route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. What's the beef with that cake about? Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. Lights, camera, bragging. It's the Rich Your Heart Podcast. It's your boy, Mitch B. And your girl, Mariah, the princess of the pod, a.k.a. the councilwoman, a.k.a. Mariah X. What? <laughs> what? The mayor and the councilwoman. Okay. Yeah, y'all better check us out like a survey. Check us out. Hey, look. Me and Mariah, we had a bracken week slash weekend. We, we slid up on uh from nothing to something. Knocked out a dope ass interview with uh Paul P. Go check that out with me and Mariah. Mm-hmm. And then you know I I stay snatching Mariah up out there in the trenches. <laughs> Yesterday we all in Bob you feel me? YG and Sexy Red at the video shoot. Sexy Red pulled up on the B team, mm-hmm. so we was outside had fun. And believe it or not, y'all, she's very strong. I got drunk, I blacked out. She didn't have to carry me in the house, so. Yes, I did. Munchie is way taller than me. I'm probably 118 soaking wet, and I got him in the house. I didn't remember how I got home. Yeah, um, shout out to Baby Dot and YG for uh, not taking you (laughs) home and making me do it, but I drink my water, so I was sober. Hey, YG was toe up, too. (laughs) He he trying to eat eat and look normal. Man. Like, Like, he trying to sober up. Thank God I am i don't really drink. I just drank water all day, you know, stayed hydrated. So I got Munchie home safe. He was home in bed before 10 o'clock tucked in. Yeah, y'all know she my guardian angel. She looked out. I appreciate you forever, real, real. You know that. You feel me? I, I ain't been drunk in a long time to where I forgot. See, like, I ain't been that drunk in a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to your big homie for getting you in the car. Shout out to Al Dog. Just the big homie Al Dog. Everything, nigga. Really, that's my real big homie, real player, nigga. Get money, nigga. Any young females you're saying a big homie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, it would. Yes, sir. Hey, but but we began to approach and getting our, our flowers early on, you know what I'm saying, about this mm-hmm. Richard Hart shit. And you brought it up to me about the BET thing, right? Mm-hmm. And I didn't know they did awards for podcasts. Mm-hmm. And then I, I probably should have, dog, because I seen something on, uh, on YouTube where, uh, what oh T Real had said F no jumper to to to, to uh what's my boy with the, uh, uh with the voice sharp sharp you know what I'm saying then, so I'm like okay that's why it was there so now it made sense yeah yeah a couple podcasters were up there um they had a segment I think this is the first time that they've done that you know since podcasting has you know stepped up a lot more I think they might have did it twice because because Charlemagne said something about so her. Uh, how you starting, Carisha? Carisha, Carisha, yes. tie in one time, then went in the second time. I, I, Alex, run that, uh, run, run, little city baby, city baby, uh, clip real quick. Hey, people always saying that I don't deserve stuff. Why well, I don't deserve? Oh, the BT Yeah, let's. I work hard. You I deserve do. everything. Mm-hmm. You, when I just did my first live t- um podcast, the line was around the corner. Mm-hmm. It's new. We in a new time. We in a new generation. I'm bringing something new, so I don't deserve it. I the first year you wanted when uh, drink champs and you wanted at the same time. I'm like, all right, yeah, baby, I ain't had nothing now. to do with that. I ain't had nothing to do with that. That, that had I'm, something. To... I'm only 29. I came from nothing. I deserve that. Yeah, I don't want you to feel. I like deserve that. that. I don't care what nobody so say. I deserve yeah. like million dollar worth of game. That's what I think. Drink champs. And drink champ. Mm-hmm. I think million dollars worth of games should have won. Right, I, love them, I, lo- I love Gilliam all little, but why? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They dope. Mm-hmm. Million dollars worth of game. And I mean, drink champs is always consistent. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's who I thought should have won. All right. Hey, I wish I would have known all the nominees. You hear me? Mm-hmm. But, but I, 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 I love Wallow. Wallow dope. Yes. Yes. Um, Here's my take on it. Like, Carisha is different. She's new. She's funny. You know, her interviews are cute, you know, that she's in a different lane. But for her to be compared to somebody like million dollars worth of game is crazy. Like Wallow and Gilly should have definitely won. No questions asked. And they always give the young dudes game, especially Wallow, for him to spend all that time in jail. You know, and all the guests that they've had on there, like you, we've, they've had some very, very big artists on there, like, um, I even take notes from the advice that they give, so there's no reason why they shouldn't have won. But we have a reason why we think they didn't win. The audience, uh, the, you know, it's different audiences, but but uh, I think the people that watch Carisha, uh, 
think I don't think that's the same audience that watch uh Million Dollars Worth the Game. But Wallow, he he gamed up for real, for real. He got mm -hmm. he got hella wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I can't remember how long he did. He did some calendars behind behind them walls though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and then then he do a lot of motivation, right? no motivational speaking. Mm -hmm. And I believe his brother got killed while he was in prison, and he spoke about how he like you know what I'm saying? Basically like forgave the person. And, like he he got a lot of game though. Then I, who was that that came up there? He was. He was getting out of me trying to like, cause he said he seen that was going down the wrong, wrong shit. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't King Von. But you know what's crazy? Speaking of the King Von interview, King Von and PNB Rock pull, were together when they did that interview. PNB pulled up on him, and there was a lot of wisdom in that interview. And unfortunately, both men have passed. But that interview itself did so many numbers, and Walla was giving them a lot of game, like a lot. And it's, I mean, just so many people that they've been up there that's even passed or this the game that they've g given and um, the encouraging words. And, you know, sometimes Wallow is even about to shed tears because he's so passionate about what he talks about. So, um, and he's a humble dude. Like, I really respect him for what he does. I like the man one day. Yeah, me, me too, most definitely. No, I, for no, him getting no. out of jail um, and spend all that time and him being out for such a short amount of time and for him to be where he's at right now. What? He came home and got to it. Got to it. And it's spreading the knowledge and the wisdom. And, you know, like, he's so respected. Um, I, I, I love what he does. And I definitely think that he should be awarded and um, for what he does. What's the word? Humanity award? Yes. He, he, yes. Could get, he should get one of those for sure, yes. for sure. Yes, humanitarian award. Yes, there absolutely. Go. Yes, absolutely. Um, drink champs is cool too, though. Yeah, drink champs most definitely. Um, they have a more silly vibe. They joke around more. I'm not saying that million dollars worth of game doesn't, but they giving you so much game, and especially to the youth. And I think a lot more youngsters need to pay attention. What's it called? He, he the jokey side, uh, Gilly. Yeah, Gilly. Yeah, he, he, he bring the little the humor side to it though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I f with them. And, and, and I ain't really tapped into Joe Budden and shit, but I. I he make the headlines sometimes. Mm -hmm. So like 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 him like the recent shit with him and Drake. He, he gave his opinions and shit. Drake went off on him and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But but yeah, I think man, I agree with Charlemagne on that one. Yeah, and you know the old Charlemagne, he would have ripped Carisha apart. <laughs> he, uh, Charlemagne has came a long way because Charlemagne used to be very very crucial with his words. It, that's his formula came from uh, old girl Wendy Williams. You know that was mm -hmm. working together way back when. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he kept that little messy formula and took it and ran with it and shit. He made little mama cry. I was just about to say he made little mama cry. And even though that became a meme, it was something serious. I think in that meme she was crying and then she had just lost her mother. So that and it became a meme, but it was a serious situation behind that. And he made her feel bad. Hey. She was out of line for hopping on stage with with, and 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 with her little b boy stand. She tripped oh out. You don't do that. God. You don't. You don't do that, little mama. You don't do that. Oh my god, you that don't, was that is that. hilarious. That wasn't the time, baby girl. That wasn't. Most definitely not. Not at all. Um, I mean, I I, I give it to Carisha for her being herself and um asking the questions she asks and stuff. But to be compared to a million dollars worth of game just because they're they're both podcasts that that shouldn't even be, have been comparable. Or even in the same lane, like. Well, I think if they doing podcasts, they need to do different, like uh, categories of yeah, podcasts. Yeah, yeah, that, that 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 would have been better. And then if she was compared to something else, then that would have been better. Because there's no reason why they should be winning humanitarian awards and so many other things. Because you couldn't put like Red Table Talk against Million Dollars Worth of Game because they not. You know what I'm saying on the yeah, same. You know what I'm saying. Mm -mm. Or 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 or. Oh man, that Tasha K girl, cold. She interviewed uh, uh, Will Smith, old assistant, ex friend, or whatever. I didn't even get. I fell asleep on it, but that man, Tasha K, boy. Tasha oh, K. Oh my God, she not learn her lesson. She scared me, bro. I don't want her. Hey, bro, if you got any skeletons in your closet and you and it made it famous, you don't want her to meet your ex or your old employer. Up, man, it's ugly. Not only that. Um, what she did to Cardi B, Cardi B was suicidal off the things that Tasha K was saying, you know, and that's a big lawsuit. Um, that and she owes Cardi she lots of money. 
I mean, she was. Uh, she said she had AIDS or either her. Oh, that's I mean, deflammation. Yeah, she she was saying some horrible things to where Cardi B was suicidal. Like it was bad, and um, you know, Cardi won won her her lawsuit, and Tosh K is still going. <laughs> she's still going. Like she's still interviewing people, still saying things. I. Yeah, that's not the lane I would ever want to go in. I I'm not for that. Okay, Tasha K. Last thing on her. You know, the boy R. Kelly's in jail. They communicate off of tablets. You know I me mean, with their loved ones or whatever. Okay, someone that worked at the jail that R. Kelly was in got access to these emails and you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. This woman forwarded these emails and these messages to her own email. Oh my gosh. And then gave them to Tasha K. Now Tasha K shared the emails with R. Kelly girlfriend. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly girlfriend come to visit him, holler at him about it, not happy about it, all the infidelity and all the little shit, and she turned state evidence. Now she flipped on R. Kelly and started working with the feds, and she gonna stand on him. And she's a, a, a like a big part, like the, like, the like seventy five percent of the, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And but the lady had resigned already from her job. Wow. So like Tasha K, that was cold, bro. That's cold, and you never mess with a woman scorned. <laughs> You never mess with a woman scorn. Nah, that's against the law, though, bro. But yeah, I was going to say, shouldn't that be against the law? Yeah, but I think he got too many of them type of weird charges anyway, though. So, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he can try to get that one shuck, shuck and not the books, but you still in trouble, nigga. Yeah, he, he has way too many charges. And so it's like, mm, dang. So she turned on him. Yeah, she turned state evidence, bro. And that's cold, bro. He came to visit, nigga, nigga approached him about it, told him, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, that, that's that's tell what, bro. You know what I'm saying? I wonder where Tasha K gets out of all this. Clicks, views, monetary reasons. I don't know. Like integrity means a lot to me. So. What money over morals over money. I almost said it backwards. Mm -hmm. Morals over money, bro. You ain't gonna never catch nobody at Richard Hart doing no, no clown not. shit, no, no, no uh clout for clicks and shit, not a little shit. Hurting people, nah, nah, that's not even in my favor at all. Okay, so since we talk about podcasters, they talk about Adam asking crazy questions. They talk about Vlad asking police questions. So we recently had, you know, we slid over there from nothing to something. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paul P. had asked me a question, and he getting some some scrutiny behind it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, I remember that question. Right, and run that shit, double A. Shout out them over there, though, from nothing yeah, to something. Yeah, shout out to nothing to something. It was real hospitable. Uh, question, you know, my question, you know, result from a place of always wanting to see, you know, us black men come together, you know, and um, I, I could be wrong, but it's my path when it comes down to bringing up certain, you know, questions and, and asking certain things and everything like that, you know. Um, and I ask, what I want to ask is I know in the past, you know, um, there are issues with, you know, people you know that you have from like the stink team draco and, and others you know and i just want to ask this you know if there was like a place maybe in the future for like forgiveness with everything that you went through you know and and, and changing and talking to the kids if there was ever a place for forgiveness and healing on both sides would you like have an issue with making it you know right with rafi and the stink team and, and others you know or is that not like an option for you when it come down to that no nah, that ain't no option all right, so that right there, that everybody been in, in, in his comments. Why you ask that's a dumb question. Hey, uh, I guess it, it bothered him enough to where he went went live on YouTube. You know what I'm saying, I caught the end of it. I didn't really catch. You know what I'm saying, but somebody put me up on it. Like well, I went to go try to check it out. It was too, like I really caught the end of it or whatever. But do 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 you feel it was a, a dumb question or or? Uh, the, the the question wasn't appropriate to ask me. Um, I think it was appropriate to ask you because 
that is a topic that is always you're always going to be asked that question I feel or that subject is somehow going to be slid in there anytime you do an interview if that makes sense I do want to ask you how did you feel when the question was asked I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't, I didn't feel no way I didn't feel no way you said you kind of like is expect I didn't, I didn't think you was all asked but I didn't, I didn't feel no way I didn't even know he did an interview with the uh the Ralphie do before you know what I mean? Yeah, but, I didn't know he had a relationship with Ralphie Pryor. Um, right. And also, what I did, I understood where he said he likes seeing black men come together. He's pro, you know, for all black men. Getting, I, get, I understand that. But in this particular situation, some things just have to be left alone and separated. And that's the best way we can put it, with being as respectful as possible, you know? Yeah, but see, our, and, and they getting at him talking about he's a square. Basically, since he ain't from he ain't, how 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 he taking it, he's saying like, cause I ain't from a gang or did a gang of years in prison, I can't ask them type of questions. Like I'm I'm a podcaster, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And shit, I didn't take the question no way. I don't think it was a dumb question coming from him, cause he 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 interviewing me. I appear to be cool, clear minded. You know what I'm saying I, I I I share with him that you know I went to went up to the school talked to the kids about you know what I'm saying the gangs and all the little little shits and you know what I'm saying and I guess he got a relationship with with, with, with the the boy you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying so I guess he like you know you cool like you think maybe in a and it was just a question I don't think it was a dumb question or it should really like go hard on him based on who he asked that question you know what I mean and shit and, and the answer no you know what I'm saying like I answered it respectfully. And like, no, nah, I'm cool off that shit. Like, sometimes you just got to leave shit where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, we all wish that everything can be peaceful. We all would, you know, but that is just a wish, you know. And you answered the question well. You were respectful. I feel he asked you the question respectfully. I kind of felt that question was coming. Um, and I feel in more interviews to come, people are going to ask you that. I definitely feel that's going to be a question that's always going to be asked. Hey, we'll see. If you we go interview me uh, in the future, let's see. You can hear it now. And, uh, I ain't going to happen, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Black lives matter, though. Yeah, absolutely. But, I, you I, know, it's nah. just Some things just have to be left alone. And I think that you handled it. You handled it very well. Like, I, I think that you handled it well. Um, That's the best. That's the, my best answer. Like, you know, um, you know, you are a man. If you were childish, you could have flipped. And, you know, you could have been disrespectful. And you could have went there if you wanted to, you know. But you didn't. And no. I'm proud of you for that. No, 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 no. But I just wanted to uh, bring that to the light, man. Get off my boy, Paul P, man. He all right, man. He didn't ask a, a dumb question. I think the question would have been dumb coming from certain people, but not from him. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it wasn't it wasn't a dumb question at all um, to ask. I mean... We see it in the comments all the time. We, we see... Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? So Leave me alone. Yes. <laughs> leave me alone, man. Fuck. God damn, man. Please leave the mayor alone. That nigga got followers like the Beehive. You know how uh, mm -hmm. Beyonce got, mm -hmm. got the barbs? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Who got the bars? Nikki got the Nikki bars. Got the bars. And Beyonce got the Beehive. Mm -hmm. God the fuck. Damn. Oh, no, man. These uh, YouTube streets be crazy. No, he he had he has a a pretty dope fan base. So you know the question was answered respectfully. He asked you the question respectfully, and we keep it moving. You know, um, mm -hmm. I wish the best for all black men. Yeah, man, we 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 uh so no contact sport over here at, at Richard Hartman. We ain't trying to you know what I'm saying do all that little internet thug shit, all that little yelling over mics and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. We leave that for the clubhouse bangers, and you know what I'm saying we ain't doing that over here. Yeah, not at Richard Hart. Yeah, I ain't good. Not at Richard Hart. We ain't doing that. Hey, okay. I'm trying to think of the, uh, cause, it, cause I ain't got to shout these, 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 uh, YouTube channels out and all the little shit. But, I mean, you was talking earlier about clickbait and hood vlogs. Hood vlogs. Crazy. Th you, you told me you didn't like a thumbnail about somebody got interviewed. And and they was telling a, a a heartfelt story and 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 the person put something like a, a a picture with some crying shit on the face with a thumbnail before, right? Okay, so um actually, so uh Stoner from the town, shout out to Stoner, shout out um, Jay Stone, Fruit Town Pyro, 
We love him. We got to get him here. Um, since, you know, people have been asking, he's more than welcome to come. But um, he went on No Jumper, and he was telling a heartfelt story when he was shot. And the young lady that um, he was shot w with, she passed. And as he was telling the story, they put a tear a teardrop next to his eye. And I thought that was kind of disrespectful, like, making a mockery of what he, you know, he went through. That's a serious thing, like. Um, and that was a very hard for, heart, heartfelt story he was telling. And that was the thumbnail. That was a thumbnail on No Jumper on that clip. And I, I wasn't too happy about that. You know, he's been through a lot of things, just like you've been through a lot of things, and, you know, in the streets. And that wasn't nothing to, like, putting a teardrop right there. That wasn't funny. That, that didn't make it, it didn't make it look like it was sad. It made it look like they're making mockery of it. That's how I took it. So, and I'm, I'm not that sensitive. And I didn't find anything funny with that clip at all, with them putting that teardrop. I'm gonna have to go check that interview out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send it to you. Um, I didn't, I didn't care for it. That, All right, but that but have, have you talked to Stoner about that? What do you feel about it? I haven't had the chance to talk to him about it. So when we bring him to the table, we got to talk to him about that if he felt any type of way. But I, I did feel some type of way about it because I didn't think that was funny just because I knew his story and you know he's been on street TV plenty of times and he's one of street TV's like favorites. So you know that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool to me. Oh, you're starting. You got to pull up like Huggies, bro. Yes. We're going to talk about it. Yes. Yeah, but so we, we was talking about hood vlogs, clickbait, thumbnails. Mm-hmm. So, so, what you think about these people be narrating, putting pictures with stuff that don't match? So, uh, I, I'll say this. So, Hood vlogs, you know, typically people are so interested with the culture, right? From different cities, different states, especially L.A. culture and gangbanging, right? And once the hood vlog is out there, someone can steal that clip and put it on another video and make it appear to be something totally different. So in this particular case, um, a friend of mine um, who's incarcerated, he gets on the next two weeks of free um, free cue ball and being baller. Um, yeah. Um He's in jail for a small violation, but he did a hood vlog about a year ago and um, a situation had happened and they used that particular hood vlog with a storyline that has nothing to do with his hood vlog. So it almost makes it look like he committed the crime, if that makes sense, if I broke that down right. And we have the clip here um, that explains the story. And with that being said, there were... Four people were actually killed in this um, story that's about to be played in this clip. And when they're using this hood vlog, if people are not wise enough and they don't know, they're going to think this particular person had something to do with that case. And that's not cool to the family members of those victims, um, you know, him in particular, because he was open enough to do his hood vlog. And that wasn't cool. That, that wasn't right at all, because, you know, people were hitting him up, asking him, like, hey, what's going on? You know, people, that video's getting thrown around YouTube. All right, let's run this clip. So, uh, y'all read the title. We got bad news for the East Coast Crips. Then we got good news for the family of the victims. Let's jump right to the video y'all came to see. Seven East Coast Crip members have been arrested in connection with seven murders across LA County including last year's quadruple murder at a house party in Inglewood. Seven men have been charged in connection with the string of fatal shootings that occurred in Los Angeles, Compton, Inglewood in late 2021 and early 2022. Officials announced on Tuesday the charges stem from a 37 count grand jury indictment that was unsealed on a Monday and involved four separate cases in which seven victims lost their lives to senseless violence, according to the LA County District Attorney's Office. So I want to send my love and my condolences to the uh, family members of those who did pass. And to be clear, uh, the gentleman that is being shown um, in that clip has nothing to do with that case at all. Yeah, but actually, when these uh, <clears throat> content creators be, be putting together, which y'all putting together, these pictures y'all putting with these, these storylines and shit, people don't be want to be associated with certain shit like, Killing females and, sh and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and your public perception is 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 is, is, a, is a mf. So like, that's 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 not straight. Cause I didn't I didn't been on the internet then. I just been thumbnails on uh with shit that 
I ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, Absolutely. oh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because be... I've seen some crazy stuff about you, and I'm, and I know it has nothing to do with you. Right. And and somebody that doesn't know, you know, people are crazy out there. You know, it, you, people that don't know can just think. Try to retaliate yeah. on this person, thinking that's the person that took their family member. Right. And that's not the case. That has nothing, to, you know, and that's not fair. That's absolutely not fair to, you know, I've seen some crazy videos about you and I know it's not true. We, we've shared them back and forth. Like, look, look, look I, we'll, sometimes we'll be like, look what Munchie did today. Hey, but see, but see, 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 to Q Ball, he got to know, being, being like gaining popularity, notoriety. When stuff go on over there, he might be the thumbnail for a whole lot of stuff. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, so they think East Coast Crip, they might like, oh, look at Baller, boom. And you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or, or anything, or like like Nipsey gonna be a thumbnail for a gang and stuff. If it say Rolling Sixties, right? Nipsey, right? You know what I mean? Like so that it, it, that come with having notoriety, no, uh, notoriety and popularity, mm-hmm. fame. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that still don't make it cool that they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that make they. It cool at all. Like you being from Inglewood, they use your face for a lot of stuff in Inglewood. Are they automatically think you're linked to stuff in? Right. Like you said, having notoriety and um, you know that that um, that street fame, they automatically think that's you. Even though it's uncool, some people may think, "Oh, that's cool." Like you get cool points for the youngsters, oh, but no. let me tell the youngsters that ain't nothing that you want to be tied to. Hell no, nah, that carry life, bro. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want to be tied to that, brother. You don't want nothing attached to your name that has nothing to do with you. Okay, I'm not, or I'm not a. I'm not uh, really savvy or ready. I keep hearing about this some shit called Reddit, mm-hmm. then, but people will screenshot shit or send me shit from Reddit, right? Mm-hmm. And then they were like, "Oh, Draco, Munchie B, right?" Mm-hmm. Right, so I was in San Diego, right? Then for two, I thought I was blind. Well, how the fuck I do that? You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. like, come on, bro. Like, like they just, the internet just, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, goddamn, nigga, y'all didn't put a whole body on a nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, it's, I don't know. It's just. In that and I, situation, and they're constantly attacking you for that, and you're not even nowhere near the situation. Yeah, but but see, when when you when you when you like uh, your reputation precedes you, they put a gang of shit on you that ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah, and that's unfortunate. Like, for instance, uh, they t- our Nipsey Hustle story when people we like ran we ran in there mm-hmm. out of 40, 40 bloods, the only name they Munchie. Munchie. They want to keep saying Munchie mm-hmm. out of 35, 40 people. Mm-hmm. It's just like, so when you, like a reputation, it's kind of hard to shake. So Cuba, ball you know what I'm saying? He, he popular nigga, East Coast, fly nigga, give him that. And they like, oh, boom. Mm-hmm. Those, those, you know what I'm saying? Using hood vlogs and all that little shit. They take a gang of uh, Alex content from mm-hmm. that initial interview, the first interview I ever did with him. Well, that, that might have been my first interview, other than the job interview ever I did. Was that the one with you, uh, me, Baby Red, Dot and Rebel? Red Boy, rest in peace, and Baby Dot. Mm-hmm. Shout out Alex. He gave me my first interview. For, if, uh, let's, let me, yeah, hell yeah, I think that's my first interview. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, they take that shit a lot and put it here, 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 here. I do see that a lot. I do see that a lot. Hell yeah, nigga even put, put it. He, that. Yeah, nigga even put it in his diss song. <laughs> I said, yeah, you know, so I got shot. You know, what I'm saying that didn't. And then they start back rapping. I said, all right, nigga, you need to give me some money, nigga, because you got me in your song, nigga. <laughs> you didn't make me mad off that trash ass shit, but if you getting some, if you monetize it, give me some, nigga. You know, I never understood. Nah, we're not even going to go there. What? I'm just thankful to have you here. Making oh, fun man. of somebody being shot. Like, you're here. Oh, I'm thick skinned, though. I ain't tripping. I, I, I ain't tripping. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, they ain't supposed to like me. They from over there. I'm from over here. That's that's cool for you. But at least make the song dope. Like you really, mm-hmm. that shit was whack as fuck. I ain't gonna say the hood or the the the, the dirty nigga uh, name. But like, bro, I'm like, damn, nigga. Like the lit. You know what I'm make that shit brack. Like, you know, stealing content from street TV and put it in your trash ass song, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And uh, disclaimer: if you steal any content from street TV, you will be flagged. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, y'all hurt. Don't do it. That's petty theft, nigga. Go rob a bank or something. Cause this man right here work hard and we work hard too. So don't do it. Hey, okay. We was talking about we kicked it off with Carisha. Yes, sir. And Carisha, congratulations though. Even though we 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 kinda lean towards a million dollars worth of game, congratulations. You, yeah, you Carisha, did that. you still you dope. You you still raw, but Black Girls Rock. You yes. know what I mean? 
Okay. Okay. Uh, Diddy and Cassie. Did she? She? I don't know how that worked, but I get. I hear she left Puffy due to the allegations with Cassie and Puffy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, she should have stayed because she. I know you giving. He breaking her off. She. He got you on revol. You. I don't know. Yeah, it's morals though. It was women. It's a woman thing. My bad. And then she's a mother. Yeah, it's a woman thing. She's a mother. Okay. Now. Puffy. Uh, it, it's, it's been a long time. It's years later. I don't know if if, if the, the the man that she would now. She probably expressed her story what she went through with Puffy back then, and he. Pressed the issue and he's like, man, you know what I'm saying? But or, he was he was a personal Cassie's um kid's father, the dude she's with now, was their personal trainer. Or Diddy's personal trainer. So Oh, he stole her. He was a part of so I'm sure he's witnessed a lot too. The trainer? The trainer ain't in the bedroom? I'm sure he's witnessed a lot though. Like the some people are coming out with their stories now. A lot of these stories are coming out now. They okay, he so so he made he made her have a have a have sex with a male prostitute mm-hmm. while he watched. Yeah, Diddy did that. Yeah, that's what Cassie's claiming. Yes, male prostitutes. So it was more than one time and recorded it. Okay, and then he blew up Kid Cudi car. Yes. So okay, so 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 she got caught. She got caught trying to sneak with Kid Cudi, and and, and he blew her, blew his whip up. Mm-hmm. Oh, that nigga tripping. <laughs> hey, the, come on, man. All the all the allegations um, and all the things that are coming out about him are pretty sickening. And but it's not surprising, being that these stories have been coming out for so many years, and so many people fear uh, fear him. Um, and so many people were afraid to say things. I remember watching that Drink Champ interview with Fab, and it was a couple oh. people, and he kept calling him Daddy and all that. Oh man, Fab Fab didn't react right. Fab should have turned up. That was uncomfortable to watch as a woman. I'm like, he was making me uncomfortable. See, why you don't want to party with me? Why you want to party? He was like, yeah, you came to my last party. No, I'm talking about party, party, uh, party, party. <laughs> Fifty Cent is the only one that be coming for his neck with no fear. But guess what? Why you want to blow up Kid Cudi car? Why you want to choke out? Tyler the Creator and slap Drake, but this nigga fifty keep fucking with you. You ain't saying nothing to him. I think he knows who he can play with, who he can't. Hmm. Yeah, right, man. Hey, hey, but see, and then okay, then he, he settled. Uh, they didn't that share the like amount. A day or two later, they the it, the the case was settled. Yes. So to me, that shows me that there was she has a lot on him, and I think he knew the best thing to do was to settle. Then I say something about a book. She was about to come out with a book. Mm-hmm. Just, and so was Kim Porter. Him, his ex-wife, may she rest in peace. And there's a lot of things that are circling around that. But those are conspiracies also. And, you know, out of respect for his children, uh, I'd rather not dig into that. But it's it's a lot of things circling around his name. A lot of things circling around his name. And I don't really think that Cassie's lying. So and this is not just me being a woman. I just and they don't say think he lying. allegedly he beat her and, and groped her and he would have to send her away because she was beaten so bad and have these doctors come, uh, private doctors to come, you know, check her out, broken bones and a lot of people witnessed that and you know she was nineteen she was young he was thirty seven yeah so her mindset you know she was a kid she was a young girl nineteen thirty seven that's eighteen years. Yeah, her, you know, and some relationships, uh, age gaps work, but if your intentions are ill and you have um, just nasty ill intent and your your whole purpose is to manipulate and harm this individual, you're sick. Okay, yeah, Young Jock said something like, she like by cutting off her hair, and she was like, well, whatever did he wants, did he? You know, did he, he get? You mm-hmm. right. So like, he just woke up like. And cut your hair bald. And mm-hmm. she's like, she's followed orders. Mm-hmm. My baby mama, she be like, nigga, please. Yep, but that goes to show you how much control he had over her and how much in fear she was of him. Huh. You will and you know, she rocked that that um that cut. Cass is a very beautiful woman. She was able to rock that. Like 
And then there, you know, now there's clips coming out, um, certain interviews of how um, they're were, they were at a red carpet and the way she shooks this man hand, you can see the way Diddy looked at her. And it's so many things that are coming out and it's like, it was just right in everybody's faces. But, you know, there's, there's so many women that are not even in famous relationships that suffer th from this and not even getting compensated money. They're just getting beat. Hey, who was the girl? Or his son was messing with the girl, then he started messing with her. Who was that? Lori Harvey. Oh, she don't count. Never mind. <laughs> Why she don't count? <laughs> what? But they they could have agreed on that. They could have like, man, pops, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I, I was thinking of some yeah, Lori Harvey Lori Harvey, bro, she's a uh if 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 men is one one like if you're a womanizer as a man, what what is a, a woman when when a woman do it? A man eater. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't well, know the she word. that. She, I don't know the way. She she's a, a manizer or some shit. Cause like what? Hold on. She stuck with the last one. Who who who? who Laurie Harvey will right now. She broke up with him already. Their contract ended. Damson injury. Contract. That's that's they say every relationship she gets and they last a year and it's a contract. Damson injured. It Damson Idris. He was um the main character Franklin off of Snowfall. Laurie. <laughs> Laurie. Philander. Huh. The word philander is a guy who like. Oh, no, 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 my bad. You, 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 you want the opposite of womanizer. Yeah, what's yeah, the opposite that, of womanizer? Man, is it a man eater? Um, <laughs> hey, hey, she crazy. Hey, she put she putting all these niggas in 360 deals. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, man eater comes up. <laughs> yeah, see, man eater, I knew it. Man eater. Oh, I thought that was some slang. That's a real thing? That's a real thing. Lori Harvey, you use a man eater, bro. <laughs> Hey, yo, you ran across me, it wouldn't even go that way. Seductress, femme fatale. Hey, Man look, <laughs> she dated future. Lori, Lori Harvey, I want to I wanna sit down and talk to you. I want to get inside your mind. I want to know how you think and, 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 you know, why you move the way you move. You might you might be thinking like, shit, these niggas do it. So, nigga, what, nigga? It's a hot girl, summer, winter, spring, fall, all that shit. I don't know. I would love to talk to uh, Lori Harvey. I got questions. Yeah, like, is it a boredom thing? Do they bore her after a while? Or is it something she's looking for? I don't know. Hey. She a high price. She a high. She a, she a high in hood rat. <laughs> but she not in the hood. That's the cold part. You, you, a, you a high in Airbnb rat. Oh, my God. No, for real. Like, come on, bro. Like, you, you the black Kardashian. One thing I would give her, we barely hear her speak. She she looks very classy, you know, carries Check herself well. But the other part is, yeah. She barely speak with that pussy talk. <laughs> hmm. Say less. <laughs> B team, like what? Come on, bro. And then and then and then you heard what Juvenile say. Get it from her mama. Look what her mama did to my boy Steve. Mm hmm. Yeah, y'all do. Man, Steve worked at KJLH in Inglewood. But but Steve Nigga. denied all this though. After yeah, he did. just like Remy Ma denied the shit. You feel me? You go try to protect your family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? Man, F all that, bro. You know what she did last summer, nigga. <laughs> no, for real, nigga. Keep it real, Steve. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, don't, nigga, don't, don't go, don't go for that shit, nigga. You gotta, nigga, stand up for the men, the men gender, nigga. They always act like men do women wrong, nigga. Come on, bro, go both ways, nigga. So he wasn't standing on business like Ti son. Hey, I just told you the other day, I'm re I'm not I'm not using standing on business anymore. I'm stepping on business. So he wasn't stepping on business like T.I. Son. Nah, he not he, man. T.I. Son wasn't stepping on business. <laughs> That's yeah. what he was saying. Okay, all right. Off to my boy Tip Harris. Off to my boy Tip Harris. Mr. Uh They call me Tip. But I'm here to talk to y'all about another tip. You got any good? No, I'm saying no, we <laughs> ain't doing no we tip, dog. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. King, bro, what's going on with, my, with, with King, bro? Okay, so I remember watching the show, and he used to love his Mima, his grandmother, which is uh, Tiny's mother. He was like attached to her, you know. Um, she lived in the, I guess she lived in the hood, you know, and he used to love going over there. Tiny and T.R. are saying because he wanted to suck his pacifier, he claims he didn't want to be in the gates in the nice area. He wanted to be outside in the hood. I mean, it doesn't I think make the pacifier shows a joke. I think he wanted to 
explore. He wanted to see see what's going on outside, outside them gates, like you said. Mm-hmm. He said, I ain't want to be in these gates. I don't want to be behind these gates. I mean, his, you know, we don't always know what our kids are doing when we're not there. So he could have probably really gotten involved in some stuff outside and he wants to be respected for that, I I, I, I guess. They know. It's, he recorded. First of all, all right, all right, all right. I believe he was at school, back and forth with somebody. You went to his car at the back backpack, acting like he about to whip out on everybody. Oh, back oh up. yeah, uh-huh, he said, a couple years back. He, said, he talking out your ass. And he was, and he was, like, what's up? I'm like, oh, he, whoo, right? Mm-hmm. And then he get the chipping at the Waffle House because they put pickles on his sandwich or some shit. And he, but he said before that happened, they disrespected him. Like we didn't get to see all that. Like before he recorded it, so. It was a little like I'm not coming into his defense, but I guess you know we didn't get to see the whole interaction. He described his he described his sandwich on on, on funny Marco shit. Yeah, right? like it was it was nasty, and I know how Waffle House could be. I used to live in the A, and they could be pretty rude there. Some some of them, not all of them. Some of them are very hospitable, but um, either he's going through something or there's something. Cause it seemed like he wanted to say he's like y'all y'all know what's going on y'all know what's going on y'all know what's up y'all know the truth and they kept telling him to shut up. So either he would just have too much liquor, it's some family secrets, and not everybody needs to know your family secrets, or you know he's just a spoiled little brat and just needs to be around better people. And he don't. And it, and if you was really like that, you ain't got to prove your, yourself. You know, uh, some of these kids, some of these rich, they just want to live a normal life though. Mm-hmm. So th- that could be it. Mm-hmm. But just living a normal life don't mean you gotta be trying to uh, run around or blick. You know what I'm saying? And, and all the little shit he doing though. And he's a little guy too, so it could be like that little man complex. I'm not saying that I, I I can I think that anybody's capable of anything, you know. So that don't he don't have to always prove that he's gangster and tough. He can, you know, if you when it come down to it, if you have ever come in a situation, you gotta defend yourself, do what you gotta do, but you don't always have to prove yourself. And disrespecting your parents on live was not the move. <clears throat> Hey, but maybe they shouldn't have people joining in on the joke though, cause it was it was boring them near. Yeah. And those people like heckling in the back, like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And he he was pretty offended, cause it, it yeah he was pretty offended by that. Um, right. It sounded like Ti did put him in a chokehold though, like to calm him down. It's, no, he was supposed to. No, he was yeah, supposed to. that's a daddy. He I mean. started he, like he started getting turned up with his mama though. Yeah, he did what he had to do. I mean, I just don't think that was a situation the world needed to see. That shouldn't have been on live. He was on live though. Yeah, he shouldn't have been on live. Like he shouldn't have did that. That should have been another you know, little. He don't like that show. The Family Hustle. He said that that show. Like he, mm-hmm. he don't like he don't like how he was portrayed on there. Mm-hmm. Cause it, he, I think he even said that he used to come from his grandma's house to go there to film and then go back to his grandma's house. So, right. you know, his life on his grandma's house probably was you know his real life, how he probably always wanted to live like a normal life. You know, um, I hey, you know it's funny though. Most ghetto kids is granny babies. Yeah, yeah, very true. But you know, I've even heard the uh, the Kardashian kids have even said like they wish they just lived in smaller houses and stuff. And I don't believe them. And not have the cameras in their face. So I don't believe them. I don't know which Kardashian. North. Said that? North. Oh, oh, said oh the that. baby said that. Yeah, Northwest said that. Oh no 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 no. When you say Kardashian, I'm thinking of the oh, adults. Oh no no no. Northwest said that. I could believe her. Yeah, I don't know nothing about the kids at all. She said that she regular, you know, like. She like her noodles and, you know, just a regular life. Her dad let her cook her noodles how she want them and, you know. So it, it, it's it's so crazy because a kid that grew up in poverty, you know, would rather live in a mansion and the kids that live in a mansion rather live, you know, it's, 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 it, you never can make some, I don't know, it's, it's. I think King just need to be more busy. Like, cause, cause like, watch, watch, watch him on, on, uh, Funny Marco shit. Like, the, he need to get a gig like that. Yeah. Because he was, like, real cool, calm, collective, had a mm-hmm. little, little sense of humor and all, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. he stayed busy with some shit like that, you know what I mean? He'd be straight. Yeah, because you got to see his personality. He wasn't a little jerk like everybody thinks. And, right. Like, spoiled brat or, you know, whatever people think of him. I don't think he's a bad He's he's a bad kid. I just think that um, he wants to be respected. And I don't think that, like he said, the show... Picture. You want to be respected for some gang gang shit though, yeah, bro. Yeah, but yeah, that I don't respect. But I'm saying like I I think that he thinks his life is was not portrayed how it was how he really lived. Maybe I don't know. But he like they said, you wanted to be at your granny house. You could tell family hustle was kind of like 
Disney Channel for sure, though. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. You know you and you and Tiny having threesomes and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it it was good. You know you running around with blicks and, and guns. You know you getting put over in Los Angeles with XC pills and shit. Nigga. True. So it's like like you know True. it's PG thirteen, but but guess what? That's cool though. But portray a black family in a positive light exactly. though. Exactly. We got to see a black family with you know with money in a nice house all the kids a blended family you know so that that was good for me growing up seeing that that was that was a good thing to see like oh that's beautiful you know so it was a and, and that was a good way to we didn't get to know all the other stuff till later and we get older okay hold on speaking of portraying a, a a black family in a positive light this youtuber what's his name is it cj too cool or tj too cool cj too cool uh-huh is it tj or cj cj Okay, that nigga, bro, he he was getting on my nerves, bro. Mm -hmm. My daughter, she's six. She's talking about some, uh, I want some Masachi. I'm like, Masachi? I'm thinking she's talking about some noodles. I'm like, Masachi? Yeah, I want some Masachi for my birthday. Oh, Fasachi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Now, she's watching. I don't know what they doing on this this, this YouTuber. He balling out, going to these stores with him and his kids. Mm -hmm. and they balling so I'm like, man, what the fuck is this? It's this it's too cool, dude, bro. You 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 causing me problems too early, bro. Like uh, I don't even let my kids watch him no more. Well, my daughter, my son's a little bit. My, I don't let my daughter watch him no more. Why not? He got too much controversy, too much stuff going on. It's but that's like, regular life, though. No, he got some stuff, stuff. Hey, mama drama. That and some way other stuff. Well, who don't? Uh, it's just, and then it's all on YouTube. He puts it all on YouTube and kids watch him. So oh, they like, put that part on there too. Oh yeah, everything. All his business. I ain't heard her talk about him in a minute. Oh I no, he's you... always in the in the the blog. I don't let my kids watch him. He got too much stuff going on. Man, bro, you was you was, you was getting me you was getting me hot talking on the designer shit. Like God damn, man, I'm I'm still trying to uh, what's that little story called? Uh, forgot that story on oh, everything. My baby mama told me to start getting her shit from there. But I'm still at that story. You talking about some Masachi and shit. <laughs> like, bro, you caused yeah, me baby problem. Get some Masachi. I'm like, man. I said, all right. Next subject. Get baby to... some Masachi. No, nah, nah, I got her, her birthday coming up on the 12th. <laughs> I, I got her. Hold, hold on. How, how old is your daughter? Uh, Eight. Oh, yeah. My daughter about to turn out. Yeah, you can pull up. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part, that part, that the part. The innocent baby girls. I just love that they're so little and ugh, stay little. Hey, man, look, bro. Parenthood is way harder than any hood, bro. Man. No, 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 no. Sit like my daughter number one. I, I ain't going to act like you used to walk through the park. Mm. I ain't going to act like that shit. Mm. The, 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 these girls, they, they they look for like they they boyfriends. They look for their daddy in them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and like certain qualities with me is cool. I don't want my daughter looking for me and and, and, and the boyfriend she messing with. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, and then I I didn't know but my mom and my my daughter was in church. And then she looking at her phone. And then mom like go to the car. I guess her her, her little boyfriend got shot or whatever. <gasps> You know what I mean? But, you know, I've been through so much, so I'm like, I'm be like, well, it's probably a flesh wound. You feel me? But, like, nah, he all right and shit, but, like, don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? So how does that make you feel like as a father or your daughter dating somebody? Because you know? my daughter think I'm the shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And then, like, like man, I, I got, a, like, a certain reputation and all that shit. Mm -hmm. So, But I don't want her going to look for that. Yeah. Uh, like, like, go, go, go uh. Like I'm saying, fuck with a a, a, a little a athlete. You know what I'm saying? They got that's playing basketball or football or you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like I keep quoting this shit. I tell these females, y'all be looking for the same niggas the police looking for, mm -hmm. including Mariah. So like, no, 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 no. So so that's y'all y'all gonna be. No, 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 no. Never met her. She 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 looking for Nick Cannon and Nick Cannon are square. Mariah Hayes is um, single and innocent. I'll be in the house, so I don't know what Mariah Hayes be looking for a savage. You hear me? You got to have know. a scratch on your record. I don't know what he's talking about, y'all. He mm -hmm. is lying on my name. Have you ever had a boyfriend that never been in jail? Crickets. Hey, when this get edited, we got to put the crickets right there. <laughs> yeah, we, we putting the crickets right there. We're doing I the edit. I am not bragging about this. <laughs> I am not. It just happened to be that way. It's That's crazy because you're a very good girl, and you and, and you like savages. I don't. And and and, and, and I am how I am, 
And I don't want no game banging bitch. I don't <laughs> want that. You want to, what, what you want? Before I move on, what do we want? Because they go log in. They go like, what? The niggas will be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Switch their holo stilo up for you, though. No, please don't. Please. You know what? I, because I don't, I, I just think that I'm. Give me a checklist of five. I don't know what I want. And I think that I just need to be by myself. That's it. Because mm -mm. obviously my choice of men mm -mm. haven't been the best. Mm -mm. That, ain't, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Check, checklist. Checklist so far. I can't name it right now. I just, nah. I can't because I, I, you know, I think I just need to spend some time with God and get my mind right. And then I'll come back with this checklist. All right, Munchie B checklist. Look, right. <laughs> you gotta come with a W2. All them little unemployed bitches and shit. Mm mm. So you gotta be submissive. You gotta be submissive. <laughs> submissive, not until, you know, bear on. You gotta know how to cook, bro. Don't you, over easy female ain't gonna ever do. No, nah, can't do that. All right. Three, can't be toxic, bro. Too old for that shit. Did that. And you bust out another window, I'm busting on you. That's three. Four. If you if you ain't pretty. You gotta be at least cute with a bracken personality. I can't do no ugly ducklings. Pretty or cute with a bracken personality. Shit, and five uh shit, I don't know, I can't think of that shit. But but next time we come back around to this shit, you better have your your your, your five and your checklist down packed, nigga. Yeah, I just think that um you know, I was hurt so bad in the, in the, you know, the past, so I have to learn how to forgive and let the trauma go, and I'm getting there finally, because you know, Scorpios, we take a long time to let grudges go, so, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it that's why I just, I, I, I just want to be with myself. It's like, I, I can't help that people want to approach me and talk to me. I, I got them, leave me alone. I, I got commitment problems. See, I, and I'm a loyal to the soil, if ain't, what well, I'm there, but it's, it be the people, you know, they just... Some men are just jerks, so I just rather be by myself. I got commitment problems because if, if, if I invest my loyalty into somebody, nigga, that's priceless. And then nigga, nigga, and you got me regret it. I'm gonna wanna hurt somebody, so I I got commitment problems. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't trust females. They too pretty, too fucking sexy, and conniving at the same time. <laughs> Sneaky as motherfucker. You feel me? Yeah, I, I could understand that. It's like a skinny nigga with a squabble. You know what I'm saying? Like these females, like I got cold commitment problems. Like that's I, I can't commit. But what about the women that are all the great things and just very loyal and you know good women, and then they get treated wrong? So that means that they're not dating the right kind they of. Got, they got they got they got mishandled, and, and you shouldn't fumble nobody like that. Yes, because that shit is rare. <laughs> yeah, listening. Real. No, 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 no. They got me sandal because that, that's rare. If if I know for a, for a fact that a female like loyal, she she she, she loyal and, and, and she trustworthy, then all right, you got it, boss. You feel me? Cause the people that have fumbled me, um, they always want to come back and they be sorry as hell. And you know what? You can't come back. Hmm. That's all I gotta say about that. But you know, I just think that I haven't made the best choices and I'm accountable for saying that, and I just want to spend my time with God and uh, do right by choosing better men. I told you I chose better. I told you, <laughs> I told Asbash, I told you, choose better. You know what I'm saying? Hey, cause, cause look for a nigga at the library, bro. Barnes and, Barnes and Noble. It ain't gotta be at motherfucker. I don't be looking for, I always tell men, just leave me alone, I'm focused. And they just be so persistent. They're walking out the liquor store now. I don't even be at the liquor store. You won't find me at the liquor store. They're walking at the liquor store, no. Any club, no. You're just I don't like, get the clubs. Look in these places. Come on for the females. Look in these places. And then, you know what I'm saying? Very true. No, nah, for real. That could be handling some business at uh City Hall or or or, or uh Hall of Records or something. They handle some, and, oh yeah, what's your name? Whoa, whoa. You know what I'm saying? And some of those men be controlling and crazy too, so it's just it's just a lot. I just rather be by myself, honestly. Controlling and crazy or leading? No, no. There's a difference between leading. I have no problem with the man leading. Contr I'm talking about controlling, like just crazy. I'm talking about some other stuff. So, hmm. yeah. No. 
I like a man that can leave. I don't even gotta think, or I could just be man, like, we got to talk about the nigga Puff Daddy. She talking about talk, <laughs> controlling and crazy. Yeah. No, because those type of men are like that too. I'm talking about like if if you are a man that could just lead and I could, don't have to think, and I could just be like, all right, cool. Like just you know, that's that's amazing. Yeah, man, if you ain't leading your relationship, something wrong, bro. I don't care if you the breadwinner or not. You supposed to still be able to lead. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, uh, that's just my little, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't dated a lot, and the people that I have aren't, I, aren't, you know, just haven't always been the best choice. But we're all, we're, I'm always still good friends mm-hmm. with people, you and know? To, and to Frosty, to Frosty over the weekend, she's not my girlfriend, bro. Yeah, Frosty. And he put that on live. Yeah, Frosty. She's not my girlfriend, bro. No, she ain't my girl. This, this little sis, bro. Little messy he's stuff. Like, he's like, oh, man, you, you always with it. Bro, kick back, bro. Recline, bro. Yeah, and also Frosty was posting him stuff on my story. <laughs> he had my phone for like an hour. Uh, just want to throw that out oh, there. Oh, he hijacked your phone. He hijacked my phone because his, de- his phone died. So if anybody was wondering why Frosty was posting stuff on my story, he hijacked my phone. That's it. Right. Oh, he was posting this shit on your story. Yeah. <laughs> His story's going back and forth. Yes. Taking selfies, all kinds of stuff. Yes, he hijacked my phone. No, as soon as Sexy Red pulled up, Ashbash said, he, he walked up to her car. What's up? Blood, I'm Frosty. Blood, yes. blood, blood, blood. I'm like, damn, what, what'd she say? She like, shit. She, she just made a face and threw up the big. Like, I'm like, okay, I got all but, those videos on my phone. Oh, everything. <laughs> yeah, go go check my Instagram out. Oh, got the little oh shit. She's on that was funny. Oh, my God. That was so much fun, though. We had it all. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Sexy Red. Okay, okay, okay. Some time back, I heard a sexy red show got shot up, right? I'm like, damn, I never heard of a female artist whose show is so dangerous. Yeah. Okay, then at sexy red show, community, AD and Pun, mm-hmm. they bump into Dust O Dub. Mm-hmm. He's a part of No Jumper. Mm-hmm. They breathe on him. Can't really hear the dialogue. You just hear like, and I was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like my boy AD was being more diplomatic, kind of like, all right, man, you know, good cop, bad cop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No no pun intended with the cop shit. You know, we ain't, we ain't fucking with them, but it, like, it, and pun was on him. Yeah. Pun was on him. Like, pun. Did he say something bad about pun before or something? Or? Man, look, put it like this. If some, it's three people on the song. And a nigga diss me on that song, I'm on all three of you niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. That's like letting a nigga shoot at me out your car. So if you on no jumper and, and Adam is going on one, he being disrespectful, and you chuckling and you laughing and shit, man, what's up with you, nigga? You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I guess they wanted to know, what's up with you, nigga? You feel me? Mm-hmm. And, they, and, they, and, they, and they got up on him, mm-hmm. right? But I already was backing up like, nah, nigga, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like, you should kind of like make a disclaimer, like when 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 he talking this shit, like kind of like you know, I don't, I don't feel that way. Cause I hear I hear I hear Brick Baby say it. Brick Baby like, oh he crazy, man. you know I fuck with y'all. Brick Baby had thought it out there. Mm-hmm. I'll be hearing that, but you know these these man these 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 podcasts turn into gangs, nigga. Yeah, you know what? I like Dusto Dub's clothes, and maybe that him being on a podcast may not be the best. Well, that maybe that specific platform because of you know the drama tied to that, and that may mess up his like future. I don't businesses. think that's his lane, though. I don't because I don't, I don't think he got good chemistry with the rest of them. Like he he's like he kind of like kind of dry. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like everybody kind of like more got more personality, and he kind of kind of dry when they doing the news, and he just like. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. He kind of like ad living or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I I told I told I told Flacco that when he was here, like I, I like I don't think he kind of like fit in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like his he got this his his clothes is fly. I ain't gonna he lie. He should be getting interviewed about his his clothes. You yes. know what I'm saying? He's doing good, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he do got some fly he got some fly gear, so that that may not be good for him, especially getting into stuff situations like that. Like, you know, you that you shouldn't even have to be dealing with that type of stuff if you would design it. But him and him and him and Brick Baby is boys like that. They boys boys. So I think oh. he kinda like pull them in, like, nigga, come you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, he should just be focusing on the clothes or maybe like, you know, some type of sponsorship for no jumper with his clothes and just leave it at that, because that's that's gonna mess up some things. Cause Pun Pun didn't seem too happy. I didn't realize how tall Pun was either. Oh, uh, Pun like six something. Yeah, that's a big dude. Three something. That's a big dude. That was like Debo right there. Nigga, what? 
<laughs> and then he had that that you know that that uh oh what's that called? Not a penalty in uh uh he he just looked like he was stepping on business. What? That's what he looked like. I right, community over there stepping on business, man. Leave them niggas alone, nigga. Yeah, you know, shout out to them. I like their I like their podcast too. Okay, look, look, look. I ain't really uh up on up on sh- Chicago culture outside of like uh King Von, Lil Dark, Lil Reese, uh uh Chief Keef, uh you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the, the the people that's like the rapper rappers out there, Duck Rest in Peace. But then there's other people emerging. I already don't know what they do. Like like I, I know one of them the the do your homework and he a comedian, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think a lot of these dudes just like our reputations, so they get interviews and shit. Mm-hmm. So I don't really know what Butter is. Is, is he a rapper? I think he rap. Yeah, I think he raps, and he was close to that girl K.I. that passed. Oh, K.I. Okay, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. She was he a was, stud. Yeah, I think and he was with her when he was She was stepping shot. on business. Yeah, he was with her. I think he got shot with her as well. Oh, okay, 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 if okay. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. All right, so so I guess he's booked to do a, 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 a interview with No Jumper. Shot him 3K, and he ran off on a plug. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, 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 Okay. All right, look, look. Brick Baby did an interview with Spider Loke. Mm-hmm. Facts are, shout out Facts Over Feelings. You know what I'm saying? And he was talking about kind of like leaving the streets alone. He trying to do 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 the legit thing. You know what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. going into a different lane. You know what I'm saying? Trying this media little podcast thing, giving that a chance and getting his bread taken out of his family. Okay. What's the difference from leaving the streets? If you enter in something where they over there, people running off with money, and people getting ran down on. That's the same shit. <laughs> I wonder what made him run off on No Jumper. That would have, I mean. Uh, what's his name? They got, sh- allegedly um, got shot by, by King Von. Um, the, the gentleman that got shot in his head. What's his uh, name? W- uh, Wooski. Wooski. Okay. I don't think he, 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 he didn't, he wasn't feeling the, I guess it was some like, uh, Try to make light of that or, or joke about that situation, him getting shot in the head or whatever, whatever. And then he's like, yeah. Mm. But whoever Remo is, I guess he was like in contact with Remo, like, yeah, I'm on my way. He's on the freeway and all, like five hours out or whatever, whatever. Never showed up. And you know what's it's crazy? I've watched a couple of Butter interviews. He's he's actually pretty funny in his interviews. Oh, yeah. He, he okay, so he puts it on everybody. Like, I put that on my daddy. I put that on, the, and then they they did like this compilation of him saying it. Like his <laughs> interviews would be funny. I'm not gonna lie. So he probably would have gave. Put me, it on what? Every every every, every family member he got. Every family member, everybody that's passed. But it's like they. I gotta send it to. you. It's kind of funny, but he does do give pretty good. And, he, and his stories are crazy. Like he got some crazy stories. So he probably would have gave them a good interview had he they interviewed him. But he probably knew they was gonna troll him too. And he you know he disrespected his friends. So hey, I don't know. I don't know. Running off on the money is crazy, but I heard Adam said he got they got the money back. Like oh, for they, real? They were able to um, get it refunded back somehow. I don't know how true that is, but yeah. Oh, you know you can reverse a payment. Yeah, they reverse payment. There you go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I thought I they got it back like the greasy way. Like, oh nigga. No, 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 no. I don't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> I don't think that was going to happen. That would have been something that seemed like. Hey, buddy, you fucking it up. He ain't going to want to pay for no more interviews, bro. Yeah. He he got some funny interviews, though. I ain't going to lie. I be laughing at his interviews. That dude is funny. Hmm. I'm not laughing at their pain. It's just like the, the way he tells stories, he'd be like very animated. <laughs> that's crazy, though. He ran off with the three, three, three bands. Three that's, bands. A move, hey, that's a move in L.A., nigga. They about to move mm-hmm. to a new apartment. Oh, mm-hmm. That's a cool little two-barrel right there. Oh, Eaglewood. <laughs> Dang, no jumper paying 3K for interviews? Okay. Man, I need some money. Fuck that. Yeah. Oh, Eaglewood, nigga. I'm bragging too, nigga. I'm big team. Man, I'm going to have to send some texts, nigga. <laughs> no, for real, nigga. He got 3K? Yeah. To tell a joke? Like, because I ain't never heard his music before. Like, he, what do what he like? Well, I guess he got a story because he was with the girl Ki and she died. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then uh, his baby mama is Duck's sister. One of his baby mama, I think, is Duck's sister. F. Right. Duck, rest in peace, sister. 
Right. And then he always tells the story of him fighting King Bond. So that's another thing. It's like a known story, I guess. Uh, let me see. Have I fought any uh, famous Crips? Let me see. I don't. I don't. Let me see. I mean, you got million dollar stories, so I don't know. They need to start. They need to start paying you for your stories now. I'm about to start dropping stories on on on, on my my own channel, Munchy B three four zero zero. That's Munchy B thirty four hundred. But but I'm gonna start dropping some stories over there. But but I don't think I don't think I uh. On Inglewood family, I didn't get my hands on them though. We was at a party on Washington. And this is when all these little party crews is out. You had porn stars, members only, uh, pushes, pushes in, e, you put pushes and MKR, all, all that. All that shit back then, all these parties and shit. So we about to push in the party. And then, boom, I'm in line. I look at this nigga. Then, boom, I'm like, hold on, I look back. Because I'm like, this the nigga off Rise, the movie Rise. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. The time of the clown shit. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember, like, the woman was like, oh, he banging that 5-5, that five, five, you know what I'm saying? The, and, and I, you know, you know who that is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I look back, he was gone. I said, oh yeah. I, but it registered late because I'm like, where the fuck? I'm, you know what I'm saying? This nigga face look familiar. I just think off the time of the clown movie, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Hey, those warehouse parties used to be fun, the little, uh, the pushes party, all that. But as soon as all the, they started playing certain music, I was out of there. I already knew what, what time it was. Oh, man. I'm gonna tell you what song was a telltale, like you in the wrong function. And I'll tell this story later. But when that Jim Jones balling came out, mm -hmm. we be in a function, that come on, like, rolling. <laughs> so you know the 60s in there, the rolling hundred. I'm like, oh yeah, we in the wrong party or oh, everything. But I got a story to go with that. But that's for a later date though. But yeah, that that song right there, that shit, that shit, that is. It's one song, it'll come to me one day. I can't think of it right now. It was one song in particular, and everybody started throwing up they set, and then it just be all kinds of, where you from? Where, uh, time to go. Well, I told me Quan is good when he when he tells, when he does his skits about the LA yeah, culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did one about the 115 bus that stopped on Crenshaw Manchester in the hood, and that shit got it spot on, like the homies be. If you are bus. not from LA, you want to know about our culture, go, and you know, you need some humor, go to Watts Homie Quan's Instagram. That tells it all on how the parties be. Shout out Watts Homie Quan. Yeah, shout out to him. We got to get him here one day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tap in with him. I'm going to tap in with him on everything. I'm, I'm a, I am don't know him. I don't know him directly, but I don't know some people that know him. We're going to get him up here. Yeah, his 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 skits be funny as heck. I ain't going to lie. About, especially LA culture, because it, it be like that. <laughs> hey, but back to the power wars. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The, let's get back to the power wars. Community versus, versus no jumper. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing it all over here, bro. We ain't, we ain't doing it all over here, bro. We don't. No, yeah. Rich at heart. We have a heart. And, um, you know, I'm like the peacemaker over here. I love everybody. And I want to see us all win. We we, we ain't starting no beef with nobody. If you had no jumper, nigga, the nigga Brick Baby got my number. Uh, Flago got my number, man. Mac in, if it's an issue. Or Sharp got my number also. And, and that's holler, you know what I'm saying, off the air. And don't make a spectacle of each other. You know what I'm saying? Or if you over there, nigga, nigga back on fig, nigga, my nigga smack. He, he got my lean out, you know what I'm saying? Bang my line. You know what I'm saying? If you community, uh, you know what I'm saying? AD, that's my boy. Been knowing him since like 2010. Nigga, nigga, Mac in, like, we ain't doing no internet wars over here, bro. We ain't doing all that shit. Like, no, because you know I want to see everybody win. And I support all the channels, you know? That uh, part. I want to see everybody win. Honestly, for LA, we all got to, like, we don't get enough shine in LA culture. Like, we don't get enough shine like that. But, 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 but I ain't going to cap. <clears throat> uh, I'm, 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 you know, supporting, you know what I'm saying, black businesses, you know what I'm saying? I'll be sliding through community, back on fig, uh, no jumper, even though that's a white man over there, it's black niggas over there, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 all the platforms, I'll be, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I slide through back on fig, boom, all right, Savi third, I fuck with Savi, Savi cool people, so I ain't good, boom, you know what I'm saying, they interviewing him, and t Rail say some shit, I wasn't really feeling right, I'm like, mm, right. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Alex, could, could you run that clip real quick, bro? Open up. It's open up. I never, I okay, never thought. All right. I it's never all right. thought Long Beach niggas was like weirdos. I just think. Inglewood. The nigga, I ain't no. So I'm like, what the fuck? Was he shouting out Inglewood or? Okay, backstory. So the interview, they talk about the Long Beach culture because, you know, you know, they... They ride skateboards. You uh -huh. know, they die they here. They might get the eyebrow piercing. Yeah, you know, I remember you know that. What I'm saying? 
And, and you know, and they talking to Savi Thar because he's from Long Beach. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Two Eleven right there. You know, uh, T Real. You know what I'm saying? And they talking about that. So Savi, so like, you know, that. But they know the insane stand on business. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, I'm glad I'm where I'm from because they know not to come playing with us based on whatever we rock, ride a, rock a skateboard or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They know not to come playing with us. You know what I'm saying? You know we, 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 we. That's our, that's our, that's our stilo. But you know, so. 2011, he begins to talk like you know. I never thought uh, Long Beach niggas was weirdos. You know, I thought, and then that's when T. Real interject like Eaglewood. So, so I'm like, Are they trying to say because of that comment that I always see that I'm not even I don't even like repeating? Uh, because because of, of the Ingle Weird song. Mm-hmm. So you want to correlate uh weird with Inglewood? But that's messed up. 211's from Inglewood. Why would he say that? And 211 kind of like. And kept pushing past it, like, and kept talking. You know what I'm saying? He was on his grown really, man. Really, his grown man tip. Yeah, but to eleven more, he more grown than me. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I'm like, I, ain't, I so I I, 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 I sat on it. I'm like, oh, I sat there. You know what I'm saying? I think too much when the house quiet. The TV got to be on, bro, because I think too much when it's quiet. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I sent it to AD. I said, man, what's up with your boy? He he, he tell me, oh no, I ain't I ain't never I ain't watched this interview. I'm like, I put never mind. <laughs> I put never because I'm, I'm going back for him. And then I text two eleven. I said, hey man, tell that nigga stop playing. Two eleven, it's Raver C song. He see it, he don't respond. All right, nigga, you, you on your you on your you on your gospel, nigga. Then you know what I'm saying. But now I'm like, I'm like you know, everything is content driven these days. And then. Just like we talking about with this no jumper shit, I ain't gonna take shit too personal. You know what I mean? Niggas on the internet and they, I don't know, maybe uh, on, on, but it wasn't funny to me though. You feel me? That wasn't that cool because I, I didn't really get it till you broke it down to me. And then I, was, and then I thought, okay, yeah, now I get it. But I would hope that he wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I think he was trying to be. I think he he was trying to be funny. He, he thought it was like, ah, you know what I'm saying? It's weird because you know two eleven was sitting in front of him, so I was like, "Why would you say that?" I don't, I don't know. That wasn't cool though. That's not nice. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, man. But I, I played that to play. I played that and said that to say, you know, what I'm saying I ain't taking it there over no internet shit, man. No, you know I mean? it's, it's it's not worth you know it. We, we we got good hearts. We rich at heart. You feel me? We're rich at the heart. And you I'm know? purple hearted, nigga. I've been shot too many times to be chipping over some little small shit like that to take it there. You feel me? So like, you know, rich at heart. We coming different, nigga. We stepping on real business, not no internet shit. You know? Yeah, and I like Trail. So I really hope that she wasn't trying to be funny, Trail. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, and me and me and me and Mariah better. Better, better duo than you and Heather. How about that? I didn't that? say. Oh, oh, oh. I did not say. How, how yeah. about how about that, T. Real? I like Heather and her. I clothes. like her too. I love her clothes. She has a bomb clothing line. Mm, I like. I like. I like Heather too. Ain't no disrespect to Heather. I'm just a competitive. Uh, it's my competitive nature. I just think me and Mariah is a better duo than you and Heather. How about Heather? That? Please don't come for me because I'm new at this. <laughs> Don't listen to her. She ain't turned out nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, 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 no. I fuck with you, T. Real on B team, but nigga, nah. Nigga, say them jokes. Nigga, on. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm real prideful about my, my, uh, my little small city. You feel me? On oh, Inglewood, we got, we got a low man complex. You feel me? Niggas be like, you from LA? I'm not from Inglewood. Like really? But I be having to remember, I'm in a different state. Most of these probably even heard of Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I have to remember, like, nigga, that LA is like, the, you know what I'm saying? You know, they have an Inglewood, I think it's Inglewood. Inglewood with an E. Yeah, in Chicago. I want to do a song with a nigga from Chicago from Inglewood with an E. Yeah, they got, that's that's crazy. Because I, I think I was watching something, is, I'm like. Is Old Block, is Old Block in Inglewood out there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's like an area. Or, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta look at the map or something. I gotta ask somebody. I got some friends in Chicago. I'll ask somebody. Yeah, I want, I want to do a song with a nigga, uh, from from Inglewood and Chicago, like out, out Illinois way and shit. I don't give a fuck if you jitty or bitty and shit. I ain't got nothing to do with y'all politics. Now I'm from Inglewood family. But like, nigga, wherever that hood lie in, like Inglewood, if you hard, you grab, nigga, I wanna, wanna tap in. Nigga, we we go from like California to to to, to, to Chirac, nigga, and like do the video there, that'll go up. Yeah, forever. that'd be dope. That'd be dope. No, nah, for real. Dope. Yeah. That'd be real wrong. I don't know. I gotta look at the map or ask some I'm ask I'm gonna ask my friend because 
I don't know. Like, if it's like how Inglewood, California is out here, or is it like, you know, just a, I don't know. I'm gonna ask. I think they Inglewood probably bigger than ours out here. Yeah, probably. 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 I wouldn't doubt it. No, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, you been, you been out there, right? Yeah, I've been out there a couple times. Oh, uh, you said you went out there to get your tat. Yeah, I got my tattoo done by Ryan Henry. Um, when they're, when, um, when they had that show on VH1, my big old tattoo on my back. Chicago's nice. Actually, it's pretty nice. Versus where people downtown Chicago, I hear is nice. Yeah, yeah. And we 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 he he took he gave us a tour around. Like you know, we went to a couple of clubs. We had a good time out there too. I ain't been to Chicago. I laid over in Chicago and shit. And what the fuck? I guess they like uh, they 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 hot dogs is supposed to be the shit or some shit. Their pizza, I know for sure. They was like everybody was telling us like eat the pizza, eat the pizza. And my mama wanna. Eating every state we land in and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Let's go to the terminal. And she, oh, I want a dirty dog or whatever the fuck that shit called. Like some, like they got some hot dogs or some shit out there. She, I don't know. I thought that was New York. Nah, New York is the pizza. No, but Chicago has deep dish. And they're, they're, uh, what's it called? We got a Herald's out here now, but their Herald's is way better. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Way better. I need a reason to go to Chicago. Cause it ain't no, it ain't, it ain't that's not no vacation like destination like you just really desire to go to. Unless you just stay out, you know, like or you got some family or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a reason to go. So whoever from Inglewood with an E out there, you know what I'm saying? Tap in, I'll tap out, and please be hard. You know what I'm saying? We can lay some shit, boom, nigga. We go from California to Illinois with the little, uh, you know what I'm saying? Inglewood wood to the wood, like you know what I'm saying? And that should go up. Oh, for real, that'll be pretty dope. That'll be really dope. No, for real, for real. I'll fuck around with the fuck around. No, shout out to my friend Fonzo. He just got out. Um, a, You know, he just got out of jail. He doing his music thing, too. Is he GD or BD? He's a GD, so maybe. Shout out to GDs. You know, I got shout both. Out, shout out both of y'all. Yeah, you I love everybody. Here. I don't, I don't even know Black that. Lives Matter. I don't even know the policies out there. I, I don't know anything about yeah, that Nigga, Shout out to Vice Lords, the BDs, the GDs, the, the, the Blackstone Rangers out there. All the shit. You feel really? me? Only good will. Shout out to the whole history of Chicago. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I don't know. Um, blood. Rest in peace, Keith Dave. You know what I'm saying? Free Larry Hoover. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Nigga on blood, nigga. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Because I don't want to get rest rid of nobody. Rest in peace, nobody. King Von on B Team. Yeah. His fine self. Hey, you know what song I like with King Von? Which one? Fuck your nigga. You know, I think my favorite is Ride. I ain't heard that, I don't think. I think you would like it. You heard that song, Fuck Your Nigga? Yes. Ride it, but I, 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 ride I like is harder. Because, you know, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a fake R&B thug, and he kind of like... This, one like is, this one's kind of got that vibe, too. It, it's funny hearing, like, King Von, like, being, like, kind of, like, gangster sentimental, though, like... You would love Ride, because, you know, he talking about being in jail, and would you ride for your nigga? You would love that song. I'm, I'm going to play it for you when you get in the car. Oh, I used to play that Future song out. Would you ride, ride for your nigga? Yeah, but... Yeah, nigga know. Like, that early on Future, I used to knock that shit. Nigga, hold on. What? Oh, I had the Buick Regal right. on BT. Yeah. They all fresh out the pen with the Buick, the blue Buick Regal on blow up the beat. Nigga, you rob me, nigga, on Eaglewood, nigga. Oh, blood. Yeah. Shout out Future, nigga, early on. Oh, bro. Now, you, I'm going to play that for you. I think you would like it. Shout out to everybody, you know, every city, every state. I got friends everywhere, from every set, everywhere. Just shout out to y'all. I love everybody, you know. Hold on. Since we <laughs> on Chicago, do you want to talk about that? About what? The comment. No. No. You leave it on? Just leave it alone. Shout out All to right. him, though. No, still love there. I ain't got yeah. no hate. Hey, uh, on Inglewood, nigga, on Bloods, nigga, you come for Mariah, bro. Niggas bripping on B team, nigga. Not even worth ain't it. No, ain't no disrespect that way, stupid. On Inglewood family. Just know I'm not an op. I don't play those we, games. We, I don't we, even we do that. Like we ain't gonna say no names or anything. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, on Bloods, nigga, leave, leave her alone, nigga. I'm gonna say it. This is my job, just like it's your job. And it's still all love. I ain't got no hate. It's just, say hey, it is what it is, you know? Still got mm -hmm. love for you, bro. Nigga, I'm a podcaster, nigga. I'm an interview. Nigga. I, nigga, I interview 60s, nigga. Nobody give a fuck about your bitch ass op, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, weirdo? Nigga, interview the fuck we want to interview. <sighs> but we ain't, gonna, we ain't put no name on it, so it's cool. He can, he can, he, he can watch this and he can look stupid in private and ain't nobody gonna know he talking about the nigga cause you know what I'm saying little sis acts not the you know what I'm saying so we'll keep it like that though on B team cause I never would've thought that would've that was cool you know you right know I mean my softy heart you know I still gotta live for everybody you know it's very hard to be on my bad side so. yeah I'm blood. we don't go to clock right over here bro we ain't no uh, no, what's this shit called a, 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 
a shock jock type, you know what I'm saying? It's not even worth it. You know, some stuff you just leave it alone. I don't even come for people. I, I, I did twice with Goofy Badass because he spoke on me. But other than that, he spoke on nigga, nigga, big bro. Talk, Alex talking about how he got some, uh, trying to lie, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Try to, try to bunk my nigga uh, credibility down. Nah, other than that. And I ain't going to say nothing else about Snoopy badass. What was the word you used? I just like to verbally abuse you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I don't want to get violent with the nigga. No. You got three kids, you not claiming that you got to be there for. So I don't want to go there. That nigga goes in because nigga, niggas love me to go do what I say. But I'd rather just like, you know what I'm saying? Christopher Wallace, nigga, nigga, his mama told him to use words. So I'm just using my words, brother. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. you know oh, and speaking of kids, uh, my son's report card just came out. He has five A's and one B. And we are definitely going to have to do an updated interview because my interview is like went viral somehow. I don't know why. The one I did with Alex about my son, I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm so proud of my son. He has done a big, big change. And them grades, pff, I never even had that. So I'm super hey. proud of him. And he's on the honor roll principal's ward. Shout out to my baby. So so everybody that was logging in about the the all the and with the negative feedback, you know what I'm saying? Log in now about all these A's and that one B. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, just to let you know, because a lot of people are like, oh, because he doesn't have his father. His father is very much so involved. I said he was a mama's boy. But guess what? My daughter is a daddy's girl. So she, they got the same daddy. She's a daddy's girl. I I said it in the interview too, but you know they didn't hear that part. They everything wanted to hear. I be kind of fake judge because my eight year old she about to be eight next month, but my eight year old she like she think everything her mama do is like bracking. I don't care if she fall out. Like, ah, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I be like I be hating and shit. Then my oldest daughter she like she she daddy's girl. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like I got you know what I'm saying boom. And for two, I just said this in the interview with uh, Paul P. Like I grew up in a house above my parents, bro. So like. And then I just did, I just did the, the wrong things. You know what I mean? Right. That like, I chose to do that. Right. Same here. I have both like, my parents. They still together, and I got pregnant as a teenager. My dad didn't condone gangbanging, even though he did it. My mom don't even. She think it's stupid. You feel me? She come from Missouri, like nigga. So, like nigga, just cause she ain't have his dad. That that's not. So what's the excuse now? If or, she a single parent, but he got always in the beach. So what's the excuse now? So. And his dad is in his life. Like his dad is there. We just don't live in the same household. That's so stupid. Okay. But and that's what I all right, females. Just because you're not with your baby daddy don't make you a single parent. Yeah, it's 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 such a it's so stupid. Like that's my dog for life. Like he has his own relationship. His woman is allowed to be around my kid. Like it's no, it, not everybody's family is effed up like that. Like me and him are we we cool. Like you know, it's no problem. I can call him at any time. He can call me anytime. Whatever you know about the kids. Like it's no issue there. But people just assume you know because he is with me most of the time. But his dad works and travels a lot. So you know that's why the kids are with me most of the time. But you know just is. We gotta do another update I, interview. No, no, I think me and my baby mama, we do a good job, do a good job of co-parenting. Yeah, I, I, from your stories and my story, I think we we both handle our situations very well, for real. You know, it ain't no drama, it ain't no none of that. It, it don't have to. Not everybody's story is like that, you know. But you see, my just, youngest daughter, when my daughter come to me, I don't call my baby mama. Come get her, come get her. Cause she don't get on my nerves. First of all, and then like if my baby mama get her little shit slapped down or whatever. Take all the time you need to do that because I don't want my daughter at the house with no nigga anyway. So, like, I'm not rushing you for shit. You got all the time in the world, you feel me, to throw your ass in a circle and nigga <laughs> and do your thing and then then come get my baby. You feel me? On ain't go with family because I ain't with none of that. And oh I, my god! And I, and I, I haven't gave my youngest daughter the speech, but my oldest daughter know we don't do stepdads, bro. You only got one dad. That's right. me, and then you got your papa. And after you got your uncles, mm -hmm. like uh, step, I'm all the daddy you need. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't do stepdads, but my oldest daughter already know the deal. But I'm gonna get my youngest. I don't. My baby mama ain't. Sit, I, I might give her to her after her birthday. She about to turn eight, and I'm gonna tell her like, we don't. You know what a stepdad is? <laughs> okay, we don't do that. Yeah. You want to see a step go sit on the porch? <laughs> yeah, I mean, when po both parents are involved, it's you know, I don't know, I don't know, you know how that really works. I, um, I haven't got thought about that. 
like I don't know how that works. But. That's my stepdad. No, that's your mama boyfriend. Yeah, that's that's what I would call. Cause that's my, your mama husband. My my baby daddy has a girlfriend that he's been with for a little minute, and you know she's she's very nice. So I I don't. That's just daddy's girlfriend. You know that's their daddy's girlfriend. Like you know that's it. And some niggas territorial over their females. I'm territorial over my kids. They only got one daddy, and that's how I'm rocking. Yeah, my saying. kids know who their mama is, and they only got one mama, and I ain't gonna give a girl a problem. You know so. It is what it is. They ain't got we ain't, it ain't no stepmama, but that's daddy's girlfriend, you know. Mm hmm. No, I ain't playing them games. But it's all love, you know. It's all love. It ain't no drama. I just had to throw that out there because you know, for the the little idiots that you know saying what they had to say. All A's and a B, you better knock it off. Yeah, that's my boy right there. Us. That's my boy. I'm so proud of him. So he got that cell phone. Yeah, and everything right. else under the sun. Right. I'll be I'll be advocating for him. Like get it, leave him alone. I, that boy has everything, okay? I'm everything. saying, but you be you be tweaking on him too though. I don't be doing nothing. How you tweak on a how you tweak on a, a honor roll student? Where they I, do that at? I just gotta make I don't you making this thing they gonna be thinking I'll be riding his coattail for better. No, I do not. I don't even he don't even get yelled at. I heard you yell. What is my yell? You you laugh at my yell. You said I have a squeaky voice. Yeah, you got you, you got chihuahua voice. Exactly. So I don't even yell. You got chihuahua. And my son's voice is deeper than mine. He'd be like, Mom. Like, he laughs. Like, hey, all right. Before we get off your son, you think he getting some pussy? No. Anyways, um, <clears throat> let's close so? out. No. No, no. How, no, how, no, how, no, how, how old is he? 13. He'll be 14 in a couple months. And I don't think, I don't think so. I, I hope not. Not yet. So you be putting them on all these chains and this, you know, all them nice clothes, and you think he, he ain't doesn't no... have enough free time yet to do that unless he's ditching school. And I know he's only, not ditching only, school. Only... He ain't ditching school. The school I, I can see the school from my house, so he ain't ditching school, and I have his location. So no, he's not. He doesn't have enough free time. I don't give him free time. He's thirteen. He don't need no free he's time. He's not. That's, that's only three pumps in the grind. He's not. He's out of there. He's not. He's not. I kind of did ask the question before without being weird about asking did the question. You buy, go buy some condoms. I'm not. Anyways. No, 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 look, look, look. Go buy him some condoms. I don't th and I think be like, dad can do that. And just, just, no, no, just be like, just just know whenever time come, put these on. I don't care how long they sit. Just make sure you put these on. I mean, we've had we've had conversation about him not please not being a teen parent like me because there's no reason. I, I did explain that to him because it would be harder because, you know, it's not the... It's I, I you don't know what type of mother this girl may be. Woo, woo, woo. Just it's being a teen parent is not easy. You'll so. cut your life in half, bro. Now you taking yeah. care of a kid and you as a kid. Yeah. You, you still asking your mama to make you something to eat and now you gotta That'll be my make baby. sure this little baby eat. That'll be my baby. No, 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 no. Go get a box of condoms. I'm get, not doing that. They got the honey pack. I'm not doing that. That's that's he, he got a daddy for that. His him and his dad can have that conversation. I have a daughter that I have to deal with in a couple years with the girly issues. So and I'm Terrified for that, so <laughs> I'm not gonna have that conversation with him. I, 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 you know, we talk about other things, but that right there, I just, I, I don't, I can't see myself doing it. Just go buy the condoms and put them in the drawer. And Munchie, I'm not that's doing that. that. Well, I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. But this is the Rich at Heart podcast. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This ain't All the, right, it ain't the bareback podcast. Look, make sure you get them condoms for him. But we gonna wrap it up, right? Feel me? Everything. I want everybody to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, threads. You feel me? MB underscore the mayor. That's MB underscore TH mayor. And follow my YouTube channel, Munchie B3400. Munchie B3400. And uh, what's up, Mariah? Um, make sure that you guys um, are on the lookout for a new episode every Thursday um, on Apple Podcasts, iHeart, Spotify. Um, we got a lot more clips dropping out on YouTube um, with the great visuals, you know. Uh, make sure to follow my YouTube channel at Mariah Sharice. I'm trying to get to a thousand so I can start dropping videos. They're going to be super duper raw. Um, make sure you follow my Instagram underscore Mariah with four H's underscore. And I am working on a new poetry book. That's the, the cat is out the bag. And that's going to be super duper raw. And make sure y'all purchase my other poetry book. That's in the link in my bio on my Instagram. And it's called The Rose That Blossomed Into Me. It's on Amazon. And we got to start working on my documentary, though. And but. I'm going to be doing Munchie B's 
documentary. I want to direct the documentary. That part, link it up. And this is the Rich at Heart podcast. Tap in on tap out, everybody. Rich at Heart. I never thought we would make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. But it's the beef what they cake about. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we would make it out. Never thought we would make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. But it's the beef what they cake about. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we would make it out. I fuck with your music, nigga. I see you, nigga. Keep going, nigga. On blood, that shit is good, nigga. It's good energy, nigga. It's good for you, nigga. To show, nigga, you can do it no matter what, nigga. No matter what, nigga, you can do it, nigga. Believe that, nigga. So keep pushing the cold line, nigga. Keep popping, nigga. On blood, I be home soon to fuck with it, nigga. Who's seen? Who